Hey there, my name is David Tregdy, and today I'm going to show you how I made this magical energy orb effect 100% in After Effects. Alright, so to start this effect, you begin with a black solid, and then you add turbulent noise. I've set mine to swirly, so you get this kind of effect. And then you can see I set the contrast to 150 and the brightness to negative 15 to get this contrast ratio you see present. And then I've animated the uh, evolution property using the time times 500 expression. Then I added a CC glass effect using uh, the properties you see here to further distort and separate the different swirl parts of the turbulent noise. And then to make my ball, I used CC Sphere. And there you see a faux 3D ball from the turbulent noise layer. So the next layer I have is one of my highlight layers and it's called the radial blur glow. Let's take a look at what's going on in here. So I took my turbulent noise, that's still there, CC glass, CC sphere, all that's still there. But then I added a radial fast blur effect set to 90. So that we get these nice little light rays coming off of the ball that will animate with it, uh, kind of creating outward points of light. Then on the turbulent sharp highlights layer, you can see that I've set my fractal type to turbulent sharp and it's adding little bits of detail inside the ball, little points of electricity or what have you. And then turbulent sharp expanded is more of the same thing, but you can see the radius on my CC sphere is now 375 instead of 350 as it was previously. And this is to give an outer layer of sort of that electricity to my ball. Now, the next thing I added was a uh, lens flare light effect from uh, Red Giant Universe's uh, Knoll Light Factory. But you could also add um, a CC lens flare from After Effects to get a little backlight glow and then add uh, Video Copilot's color vibrance or some other manner like a hue and saturation slider to um, kind of give it some color. Um, but I like the look of my lens flare. Of course, you could also use Video Copilot's optical flares if you have a license for that. Use what you got, purchase a pack, whatever it takes. We go up here to the Saber Edge layer and I turn that on. You can see I get this nice halo uh, going around the uh, orb itself. Um, I started with the solar preset, even though there is actually a Patronus preset, but I started with solar and then changed it to the color of the Patronus preset. That's F9E4FF if you need it. So I started with the solar preset, but then I changed a lot of settings here and there to get this exact look. Tweak it however you want. You can also check out the project file for this exact project to kind of help you get started. Oh, and I also wanted to point out that I added a bit of a turbulent displace to the Saber effect just to give it a little more warble so that it's not so obvious that it's being wrapped around this circular mask that I drew originally to add the Saber effect to. Once you start playing with Saber, you find out little different ways to make it feel less like a straight line um, and give it a more organic or uh, more random feel to it than it already has. Also, if you wanted to add some more color to your project, you can use another instance of uh, Video Code Bio's Color Vibrance. I didn't really want it. I wanted a more white look there, so I left that off in the final project. So now if we hop back into our main comp, the one I've labeled Magic Energy Orb Tutorial, and we turn on this background layer, uh, which is just a brick wall image I pulled off of a stock site. And then if I turn on the sphere noise layer, you can see it's very hard to tell exactly right now, but this is just a, a copy of that turbulent noise effect with VC color bright, <laughs> with VC color vibrance added and a few other effects, just so you get the sense that light is being cast from the orb here onto the wall. And you see there's a little bit of color and it gives us this sort of watery vibe. Now, if I turn on my text effect layers, and if you remember from the main video, 
the lighting from the orb appeared to interact with the text. Now to make that happen, I'll go into one of my text layers. And again, you'll see there's just an instance of the turbulent noise layer, Smeary, with a fast box blur set to eight applied to a mask of the text. So this text here, the source text and the scale are parented to my actual text layer, which is down here. That way, if I were to want to make any changes to this text at a later time, they will automatically be made to uh, the text and the mask at the same time. Now for this text layer, I use the bevel and emboss layer style and made sure the lighting appeared to be coming from underneath. If I go back to my main comp, you can see that I've done the opposite for the lower text and made it feel like the lighting is coming from up top. It's still got, it's still got the turbulent noise effect applied, just the bevel itself feels like it's lit from the top. These are all 2D effects to appear to have a 3D effect. Also, if we look at the Patronus orb, I have separated my X and Y positions and applied a very slight wiggle to the Y position so it appears to kind of float up and down a little bit. Now if we go to my color correction effects layer, I have applied a LUT to this layer. This is actually the Fantastic Beasts LUT from Triune Films uh, to get that sort of Harry Potter vibe going on here. I've applied a vignette and just a hint of a fast box blur just to take off that uh, you know digital edge. And then I've also applied a grain here uh, using the Kodak Vision 320T setting and the film application mode. This won't necessarily show up in a YouTube compression, but sometimes adding the grain just helps with the overall look and keeping things like color gradients and other things um, make sure they export well. I'm going to make this project file available to download for free, minus all of the paid assets and effects that I have used to make this tutorial. You can, of course, add them back in if you have licenses for them. And also feel free to add in whatever you have to make this effect your own. And that is the effect. If you want to learn more about this effect, you can download the project file via the link in my description. While you're there, you can also check out my digital store where you can download all kinds of motion graphics assets to get you started on your next project. Um, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you never miss an upload. And if you have a specific question or you want to suggest another effect you want to see, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment. Love to hear what you have to say, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one.